The weekend's over and it's back to the office, meaning you'll have plenty of time to look at your fantasy team. This is Mayo's Triple Play for April 29th. Years in the NL East rarely prepares you completely for life in the junior circuit, but it's paying dividends today for Omar Infante. The light-hitting second baseman squared off with former Met Mike Pelfrey 32 times in his career, reaching base in 17 of them. 15 hits, 2 walks. Infante's not going to power any over the fence, but he'll be reliable and cheap. And maybe the most telling stat, in those 32 plate appearances, Infante's whiffed just once. At a position as thin as second base, that's about as good as it gets. Get him in. I never really like endorsing low strikeout guys, but Zach Britton's an exception. He's inexpensive and does get a date with the Mariners. In Seattle. Too good to pass up. Plus, Britton's done his best work against these Mariners. In two career starts, the Orioles lefties tossed 14 innings, fanning 11, with an ERA of 257 and a sub-1 whip. And those starts were in Baltimore. Now at Saveco, things only get better. Ryan Braun. Ever heard of him? It's pretty good. Yet somehow, he'd be even better if he got to face Wandy Rodriguez in every at-bat. Lifetime, Braun's taken Wandy on 45 times. The result? Four home runs, five doubles, six walks, and two steals for good measure. That's good for a 359 average and a 1239 OPS. He's going to be expensive, but with the money you'll be saving with Britton and Infante, you should have no issues squeezing him onto your roster. That's it for Monday. For more daily fantasy coverage, navigate your way over to the Roto Experts Daily Clubhouse and check out our expert insights. Dan Dobish, Jake Seeley, Adam Zadroik, and the King Scott Engel all give you their takes on the day's best values and who you have to be starting in today's games. The Roto Experts Daily Clubhouse, rotoexperts.com slash daily. I'm Pat Mayo. See you tomorrow.